Okay, now this is a uh, remade short video uh, just to do Highland cartilage, and we're going to do it uh, in trachea, and uh, as a consequence, we'll also have an opportunity to revise respiratory epithelium or pseudostratified columnar ciliated uh, epithelium. So, now let's zoom in a little bit uh, on this slide. And uh, at about this magnification, we can see fairly clearly here's the epithelial surface across which air is going to flow. Uh, this material here is one of the plates of hyaline cartilage or rings of hyaline cartilage that are found in the trachea. This is a cross section of the uh, trachea. Between the hyaline cartilage and the epithelium we're going to have some connective tissue which depending on where we see it will be either dense irregular to kind of moderately dense connective tissue. And on the outer surface we'll also find some uh, dense regular connective tissue. One thing which isn't um, very apparent on this slide but we'll see a little bit at higher magnification is the perichondrium, the uh, connective tissue membrane that surrounds uh, hyaline cartilage and from which a population of stem cells that can give rise to new chondrocytes uh, are found at least when the cartilage is initially developing. So now we'll increase in magnification again. And because we're looking at cartilage, we'll pay attention to uh, this region here. So the classic appearance of mature hyaline cartilage is this uh, mauve uh, very homogeneous glassy colored uh, material here. Hyaline means glassy. And embedded within this material are clusters of cells, groups of cells, uh, often called isogenous groups or cell nests. And these groups of cells, the cells themselves, are trapped in small openings or lacunae. And the, during the course of the tissue preparation, the cells often shrink back. So that, for example, what we're seeing here is a single lacuna. This is the remains of the nucleus of a cell, and the space which is around it is where the cell has uh, shrunken back. The area immediately surrounding each of these lacunae uh, it stains a little bit darker um, than the surrounding cartilage matrix. So for example here or here and this is referred to as the territorial matrix of the uh, chondrocytes that make up this tissue. And really all it is is hyaline uh, cartilage type 2 collagen fibers that have yet to become compressed and uh, organized into their mature form as you would see um, here. On the outer edge of this cartilage here, we have some collagenous connective tissue with fairly undifferentiated looking cell nuclei, maybe fibroblast uh, style nuclei. And this, particularly just along here, is where the perichondrium is found. And it then blends with the um, surrounding uh, connective tissue. Here we see a blood vessel that contains some red blood cells. And some of these spaces here perhaps are where adipocytes were. If we go to the other side of the uh, hyaline cartilage here, again, now we're looking here at the margin of the cartilage. The perichondrium is the connective tissue which is in close apposition to the surface of the cartilage here, particularly where you can see these almost parallel lines of cells here is perichondrium. And then we move into the dense irregular connective tissue that we find underneath this uh, rather wonderful looking pseudostratified columnar ciliated epithelium with goblet cells, which is respiratory epithelium. This section is a plastic section rather than a paraffin section. So it's cut a little bit thinner than more traditional uh, paraffin sections. And this allows us to make out quite a bit more detail of the uh, cells in the epithelium. So here for sure uh, everybody could now identify a goblet cell and a goblet cell and a goblet cell. We can see very clearly the long extended cilia that poke out from the surface here and which are motile. And we can see that the epithelium is clearly appears as if it is uh, stratified in that we can see for example a layer of nuclei here and distinctly another layer of nuclei here. But we can certainly demonstrate by experimental means if necessary that although the cells appear as if they're organized in layers, all of the cells which to whom the nuclei belong here um, are all attached to the basement membrane, which is not itself visible in the slide, but is right at the boundary point where we can see uh, here. So respiratory epithelium, dense irregular connective tissue with some blood vessels in it, perichondrium just along the edge of the cartilage here, and then here hyaline cartilage.